Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a bit more about Active Recall and how I made that transition from just memorizing purely from notes and all the way to using Active Recall which is basically coming up with my own questions to study for my exam. So the way I do uh, my studying in JC is to just create my own notes and then I'll just like do the basic highlighting and then just like memorizing by reading the my notes again and again. I realized like uh, later part in uni like in year 2 sem 2 that this wasn't very uh, possible for a very long term so I realized about this method called active recall so that's when I only started trying it only in after year 2 sem 2 but before that I was just like practicing based on memorization but the thing is in uni what happens is that our exams are all the exams that are happening like the midterms and even the final semester exams are all contributed towards our caps our cap score unlike like in primary school and secondary school where the grade is actually just based on your o levels or your a levels content is very heavy it's a uh, if I was just going to do pure memorization, it would take a lot of time and I'll be burned out. I decided to uh, study using the active recall method and see whether it actually helps me in the long run. So I actually saw uh, videos like Ali Abdal, uh, like his videos on active recall was very informative. What is active recall? So it's basically a study method that pushes you from thinking of short term studying to a long term studying. That means whatever information that you would be studying will be retained for a longer period of time. And it also prepares you for any unexpected type of questions during the exams as well. So it's basically like, you know, this Sponge Spongebob meme where, you know, he will try to find out what's this person's name and then they'll be rummaging through all the files to figure out whose name uh, this person was in front of him. So it's basically that. So active recall is that when I have a, when I ask myself a question, I'm like searching through my brain where the content is in my brain that can answer this question. So to make life easier, uh, I follow what Ali Abdal did, which was to create an Excel sheet. In this Excel sheet, I actually just came up with uh, questions for each topic. I just look through those questions every one, three, and seven days. I'm following this curve called the forgetting uh, curve. It's showing you how easily you can actually forget things. So that means let's say if I start revise, start doing the questions and looking through the questions on Monday, the next time I'll be looking it on is on Tuesday. The next time will be on Thursday or Friday. And then the seventh day will be usually the following week, Thursday or Friday. Easy referencing on how many on on which day I'm supposed to uh, memorize. I just follow the one, three, seven days. I will just look through those questions that I've come up with for each topic. Uh, the uh, during the one three seven days so i also have another excel tab that shows like uh, i have color coded also like which day is the first time i'm looking through the content which is the second day i'm going to look through the content and which is the third the third day that i'm going to look at the content so that i have because i have four modules so i color code to make sure that I am actually looking through the contents for all four modules at the same time initially using the excel sheet was very challenging because uh it was very hard to coordinate when i was supposed to look through my content and uh if let's say i am not able to like follow the active recall like the forgetting curve i would actually just make sure i look through it the next day or during the weekends when i was looking through my own questions i was just looking from up all the way to the last questions i don't actually look at questions that i have uh, little knowledge of so i just like scan through i didn't use active recall to its like highest efficiency this was what i was doing in year two sem one so in year two sem two our professor uh, introduced to us this app called brainscape so it basically did what i was trying to achieve where i just write my questions in this app and it has an algorithm to where any questions that I have difficulty answering it will be shown more frequently to me so you can show you can choose your difficulty so like one is like you don't even know it at all or five you know it perfectly so the perfectly one they won't show it as many times compared to like number one which is not at all this method actually helped me reinforce those questions and contents that I had problem with in year three uh, same one I still followed the same Form of using so i was still using the excel sheet but in this excel sheet i was just tracking when i was supposed to look through the content again 
so it wasn't really coming up with questions in the excel sheet anymore if you have any seniors or if you know anyone who can who has already done active recall questions for the topics or exam that you're going to do you can just reach out to them because you can make your time more efficient i also happened to watch this video by nathan wu uh, on how to use anki effectively so i had this module where uh, brainscape cannot be used because I didn't want to pay for Brainscape Premium because I needed to attach some pictures and images for this module to understand the content better because this module was based on inferring the graphs and coming up with my answer so Anki had this uh, function called Image Occlusion uh, Enhanced basically I can input any pictures and then I can cover up the words uh, that I want to memorize or cover up some parts of the graph that I want to uh, focus on more and then it will just, uh, if I say turn the card, it will just show me whether my answer was correct or not Enki works on the basis of active recall as well but what is different about Enki and Brainscape is that in Enki, if you are confident with your answer and then you click like the most that you're the most confident in that card you won't usually see that card for like days or sometimes even weeks so I didn't like it because even though there was a function where we can reset the cards but the algorithm would be lost so I didn't want that to happen so I still like Brainscape because even if you're confident with that card's uh, content you actually can, would see it if you are trying to do active recall uh, on the day itself I feel like Enki will help in modules where you need visualization if you want to know how to use this image occlusion enhanced you can take a look at uh, Nathan's Wu video it's actually a very informative and very short video on how to install Enki and how to use that function I'll also link the his video down below learning it became more interesting and more efficient with coming up when I came up with questions for my exams so i saw a trend in the type of questions that came out in my cas what i did was with me me and vasha we came up with uh questions uh that can be potentially be seen during the exam itself so it really helped with time management during the exam itself and uh putting yourself through a exam situation uh, help actually doing the actual exam you know your nerves or you know what to worry about this is especially useful if your modules and course doesn't have any uh, past year papers i hope you will give active recall a try even though it may be hard at first but i think it will really help you in the long term you can share this video to anyone who are learning how to do active recall and or even scared to try active recall as well you can share this video like this video and i'll see you guys in another video bye